24 to 70 according to everybody love uh, apertures 2.8 from Leica the new lineup discussion um, as a professional photographer and people know that I like uh, Leica very much I use it very heavily into my professional world in fashion and great events, uh, weddings, um, creative work. So I'm going more to the department of professional more than just walking around with my Leica SL, taking pictures of birds and trees and dead stuff. So I'm kind of more into using the camera to give me great results for my work rather than just wasting my time because if you want to do these kind of things there is a special camera for that not specifically special but there is other cameras can do the job with more joyable thing than kind of a format of a camera that built kind of like maybe for more extra features for this kind of professional work rather than just taking pictures of birds and trees 24 to 70 so for me as a professional photographer I had this kind of length before with other cameras and manufacturers of course probably most of photographers have this kind of a reach in this kind of a level of um, of range of any company that they went into whether it's uh, it's Canon it's Nikon probably Panasonic now jump to that to the thing and Fuji so other camera companies are moving toward this kind of like range because it's like a sweet medium kind of a good spot between wide and telephoto when like I introduced the um, 24 290 they said why are we copying other people and we need to do kind of um, like everybody else why should we do that let's put the reach in turn of 70 90 okay this is not 2.8 for me i don't give a damn because it's like people say oh i need this extra light i need this extra thing People don't understand that this extra thing, you either can twist it with your camera, you can twist it a little bit with your post-production. That's why you are professional, so you can make, make it up in a way. So once it's, you can, you don't, this kind of like one stop or two stops, I mean, come on, it's not relevant at all. And speaking of uh, bokeh and depth of field and, and um, blurry background nobody gets blurry background at 24 at 2.8 it's wide so i don't want to make this educational how focal length work but once you go all the way to 90 even if you are like 5.6 or 6.3 you will have depth of field and a good one so when i see the 24 to 70 from leica I was like, hmm, we already messing a little bit of a range between like whatever we had in the first time when the SL came out all the way till now. We are missing a little bit of like a unique focal length range of the zoom industry for the like SL. So I said like, why are we getting into the normal range or a range we already have but now it's shorter and instead of having the reach of 90 i'm having 70 for the 2.8 that for professional does not really matter discussion we're still under the discussion thing um i was picking on some groups uh about it and we were like going with a friendly conversation back and forth there is no something here to prove a point and by the way, before I continue, we have a nice group called Like a Group. It's very exclusive. Come and join us. I will put uh, the link direct so you guys can come and join us. Very quality photographers, very quality people. And the group is growing tremendously fast because we have all kind of Leica photographers in this. Not just like SL, everybody. S, M, M, D, M10, you name it. C, L, S, L, S. Uh, D-Lux, uh, Sofrot, uh, everybody. 
Welcome aboard, please come and join us because all the Leica photographers need to have exclusive club, not just one group. Speaking with the group, I was speaking with one of a photographer said this camera is this lens it's a copy kind of designed slash um, inspiration by Sigma. Sigma have this kind of a thing it's the same housing but with a, a little bit of a touch of Leica. Leica is a glass house optic house. How is it possible for someone make the glass borrow a glass? How is it possible? So this is when, for me to say, like, Leica's making great glasses. This is what I was fighting about in my previous video, that don't buy Leica if you're not going to buy the glass or the lens. Don't buy expensive Leica body, any body, even the M, and go with a cheaper lens so you can put on it to take pictures. This is not the point. The point is to get this with this. So you will get the feel of it. So why are we like, I don't know if it's really, we are going to the direction of give me your housing and I will put some of my lens there or give me all your lens and I will redesign it and I will put it out there in the market for affordable price. I'm also not against, I'm kind of annoyed that there is like another to the generation after the first generation of such an innovation, which is the Leica SL. And it's like, okay, the SL2, we tried it, no problem. It's more megapixel that I hardly need or other professionals need. Of course, this is for people are going after crazy numbers, which is obvious okay. Um, the video capability, it wasn't so much there because they wanted to push it. Now they have this, they went back to the Leica SL with a different kind of a design for the Leica SL2 and they put it with the SL2S and they bumped up a little bit of the feature of the video. Until today, I cannot see so much video production. This is when I said like, why are we jumping to lines that is not relevant too much for a company it's not well known for? And instead of being all the way to the top with, with the image quality and the lens quality and the production and innovation, the way the Leica SL stands as a quality piece of art, like the Leica QP, it came from the Leica Q with a nice touch. Not to have generations after generations, the same camera with different kind of letter next to it, next to the original name that we are not original anymore, we don't know what to name it, so let's put a small letter next to it and we call it a day. I don't want to say I'm, I'm ashamed or now I feel normal, but I wanted to go to the exclusive company as Leica to be exclusive photographer for people to say like, damn, he's buying an expensive camera for his work. He's buying expensive glasses for his work. Even if he's putting two things together from Leica, this guy is to watch. And this is when I stand out as a photographer and this is only as an image. So imagine my work come to play and people say like, man, you're not just having the image outside, you have the image inside, which is your creativity by the camera you have. Um, now I feel that I'm kind of normal. Like, it's like, I don't wanna say I'm gonna be almost like the same as people having Canon and Sony because they, what are they gonna say to me? Oh, it's a cheap camera. Uh, it's already, it's like my, 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 maybe my Canon, my, or my Nikon D5 or D6 is more expensive than the body you have. So we are losing the style. We are losing the luxury. And now people asking, where is the review of this lens? This is the review of this lens. It just, we are going toward a path of, we are going to put a lens out there just to have a range of lenses that this range is already available and is still available with other manufacturers. People still put on their Leica body other, other lenses and cheaper ones. I'm not saying because they can't afford it, but hey, you can afford Leica body you should afford a Leica lens or you, you, you just don't jump to the system because you cannot just like put 
I don't know, bad paint on a, on a Porsche car. You can't. Expen you, need to, you need to have original pieces, original accessories from Porsche car so you can match it with your Porsche car. You don't just buy a Porsche and put every single dime in it and, and, and match it with a very bad interior from a different company because you cannot afford it. Just don't buy the car. It's obvious because you make the car even look bad. <laughs> So, the whole point is here, 24 to 70, whether it's from Sigma, whether it's from Leica, the, 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 the lens is just the lens. The range, it's already out there with a different company. When the, when the, Leica was the only one to make 24 to 90, where, where everybody was having buzz and media talk about it and everything. People are not going to talk about this lens. <laughs> Media not gonna go crazy over 24 to 70 from Leica. Boom, boom, boom. I love Leica. I'm not a fanboy. I just uh, an artist, a photographer, uh, in a personal and a professional way, who appreciate people making nice things. And they're making nice things for us also as a photographers. So I don't want to say I'm a fanboy. This is like uh, for people that are going crazy or they will tr try to, pr tr uh, to prove a point. I'm not trying to pr prove a point. I'm having a discussion of a product I like, I got attracted to. I'm, work I'm making my work from it, buy it, buy it. And um, I'm standing out and people like give me salute when they see me with this camera. It just, you know how much my many friends, I'm walking like this in the street with my camera, like this, no strap, no nothing, like this. So I go like this, I talk to someone, if I this, I just put it like this. This is my accessory. So this is why I'm proud of it, because it's unique. The philosophy of it's unique. It's making people wanna just be photographers, they're pushing it away. It's like, hey, what's up? Are you a photographer? Are you sure? This is the price. Oh, no, man, I can't get something cheaper. La, 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 la. This is not photographers. They're looking for something cheap. They're looking for something to get by. They're looking for something practical. But us, it's like, I'm a real photographer. I'm an artist. I have a vision. I want to stand out. I go to a different club. I go to a different path. So this is when I try to say that the exclusivity must be there. Um, People who have money, they not gonna buy Casio watch. That's for sure. Not because they, it's a shame for them or they cannot afford it or uh, maybe they can be so simple that they gonna wear it. No, but you have the ability to buy. I don't wanna go all the way to diamonds, but you have ability to buy a decent pricey watch to enjoy it. I'm not gonna say it's a, it's a crazy with the R thing, like the crazy is for poor people now, but I wanted to say that you can buy a decent, nice, cool watch, more expensive than the Casio watch. I don't wanna make Casio cheap, but this is like a very low price, right? So when I have a money to able to buy a nice, comfortable, I don't wanna say luxury, but pricey watch, I'm okay with it. Why not? So when I'm a photographer, Seeing this kind of brand standing out, a small house as a small company, and they are uh, giving their exclusivity to certain type of people that they don't want to buy the normal things. They come to us. This is wow. Like as the only place have their own stores as their own in a way. Uh, okay, maybe other people have it, but they have it inside the store of a camera. They don't have a total exclusive store only maybe i don't know for how many countries one two i never for example in milano saw a nikon or a canon store i saw a store inside a store inside a store but i go to like a store with all my friends and everybody and i and i have coffee with them i see a gallery i see all these amazing unique pieces of cameras standing there so this is called wow they invest in their house and when i see as a photographer, a system, I am in the club of it. And I see like, I said like, hmm. Now we start going to, they, these people might be in a store, inside a store, inside a store, or my camera is not gonna be relevant for me to make it like this all the time in the street. I cannot maybe walk like this in the street because they can say like, 
my, my Canon Mark 1DX, whatever these numbers are, it's more expensive than this man. I thought uh, Leica is a bit pricey or expensive. I am so proud to say this is so expensive all the time to other photographers because I wanted to not make them feel bad, but I want them to show them that I invest in my gear. I go to the expensive things because I care. And this is how I uh, explain the review of the 24 to 70. Is it going to be a bad image quality? The, like, the quality of the lens is going to be bad? I mean, come on. It's Leica. What can go wrong? Nothing. If Leica make the glass the way they own it and they explain to it and they, of course, they don't like to people because, you know, this is legal matters. It's a great quality. It's a great quality. Leica have great quality glass. Whether it's 24 to 70, whether it's 24 to 25, whether it's 70 to 71, it's going to be good. But we're talking about the creativity of the line of these kind of lenses. Is it kind of right? Or is it kind of I'm out of ideas? Or people demand 24 to 70, 2.8 so much? People don't demand nothing. You give anything to pe these people, they take it. SL was the king of the professional lineup in a way. And then they put the SL2 and people start taking it in a different way because they put the megapixels. And now they're putting SL2S and people are selling their SL2 for the SL2S, which is the cheaper one, the less specs one. How crazy people and dumb can be at the same time. How can you sell, um, I don't want to go with advertising, but hey, let's open it. How can you sell your Benz S500 class and you buy E220? How come? They are some of the same company, but you are driving 500, S500, Mercedes Benz S500. You go all the way to Mercedes Benz E220. And if people don't know what's the E-Class, it's very cheap. <laughs> so this is what I mean. They said, oh, it's better specs, it's better this, better that. Really? Why is it cheaper? Why is it, uh, why is it less this and less that? Why does it look like the same first one? Why you need to sell the first one to get the second one to, and then now you sell the second one to, to get the first one and the first one and the third one is the first one and the first one is upgrade from the second one and the second one is not relevant, they go to the first one. Anyway, hopefully you like my kind of uh, review. You know I'm a logical person. I don't, I don't have this kind of a bullshit production I have. I'm not uh, a, a, cre a content creator. I, I am not kind of like a reviewer guy with 2 million people following me because there is no need. Whoever is following me, whoever is w like watching my videos, whoever is actually following this kind of philosophy of like, th these people are the real photographers. Not 2 million people, not all of that, because there is no 2 million photo like a photographers, absolutely not. <laughs> They're not even 1 million. <laughs> anyway. So thank you for believing how I look at things. Thank you for supporting. I have so much. Okay, my videos sometimes came, it may come to um, a different direction or people translate it in a different way. But so many people, like 90% of everybody from comments, from private messages, from friend requests on social medias, from followers on my social media also, whether it's Instagram and this and that, so much positive things. Because they see I, I, I speak the truth. I'm a make, I'm a make sense pe pe person. People are taking my advice because you know why? Because I have nothing else to get back in return if you do something this or that. Why? Because this is called honesty. This is called, I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not pushing you to do anything. People bought like, uh, phase one from my video and it was, I don't want to make it a very low, bad, humiliating video, but it was a bad video. It was a small camera, it's not even full HD. 
I was, but, but I was speaking passionately about the camera. I was speaking how the specs were. I was the first one to unbox it and talk about it. I met these people who bought the Phase 1 XF. I met them. It was such an honor. So, and also people bought the Leica SL out of my recommendation. I don't want to say so many, but few. And this is called, if people just buy it from a video, I'm talking about how much is it good. That's mean there's something right going on. People bought the Q when I talk about it so much. And it's not even the modern one. It's like the first generation because they know it's enough. The glass is enough. Everything is enough. People say we crop because we can zoom in. But when you zoom in, it's not the way when you crop because of the depth and the compression is not going to be the same. When you zoom in, you, you create the depth again and you frame it. But when you zoom in, when you crop, you will just take this and you just put it in front of your face. Two different things. This is how dumb people are when they don't know about what they're talking about. I don't want to make this video so long, but my review about the Sigma 24, 270, 2.8 from Leica or Leica, I'm sorry, uh, did I say Sigma? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it. The Leica 24, 270, 2.8 according to people are going crazy with the f-stop which i hate to say it but hey 2.8 2.8 this is the review it's gonna be good it's gonna be amazing if like i make it and i don't need to put it on my lens and my camera to oh this is 24 like the same as 24 to 90. really wow okay let's go to 35. 34 is like the 35 on the 24 to 70. really okay so i go to 70 here and i go to 70 there wow i can't believe it okay i stop to 70 there oh i can go to 90 okay wow guys buy it it's amazing anyway you get the point thank you so much for watching please have a look at my work at uh, expertotv.com, uh, ramseyspencer.com, ramsino.com. I have a great work from Leica with these amazing cameras of Leica, whether the S, the Q, the QP, the Q2, the SL2, the SL. Amazing work. And uh, or you can also check uh, my lovely Instagram if you like to see what's going on at Ramsey Spencer. And this is pretty much about it. Hopefully you like my honest opinion about how things work without trying it because people only believe things when I say oh my god I tried it it's amazing I, I do backstage this is called entertainment but what I'm doing now is called value information two different things between entertainment and value information it's a long video but it's a discussion it's not something if you are you want to just watch something when you're in a, in, a, in a bathroom or you know train no you watch this because you wanted to hear opinion you want to talk to someone logical about things you don't want to just five minutes oh i'm bored i cannot watch the rest of the video these people are not even anything these people are bored of their life but people are listening and taking kind of absorbing what i'm trying to say these people are the one to be actually to keep. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, we have a great club. It's called Leica Club on Facebook group. It's amazing, very quality people. We grew tremendously. Like I just opened the group and we almost have like 2000, I think. And we just opened it. And the likes and the amazing positive comments and the energy, it's just out there. And according to the 2000 uh, members, and the, the amount of likes and, and, and engagement, it's a very high percentage to this kind of number of the members. So it's a very successful group. Please join us because we only want the quality photographers who understand what they're doing. And we all Leica photographers understand that Leica is Leica because we love it from day one. And we want also Leica to, to hear us, to say, we say to them like, please be innovative. Uh, please stay with what you always been doing uniqueness we don't need the same range of canon and nikon and l mount and you put it on your on your on your amazing cameras and you could maybe make a different range you created 24 to 790 so nobody did 24 to 90 before 
So maybe you should think of something different a little bit. Why not to have a nice cool range from 60 to maybe 250 for sports and action? This is called, mm, now we're talking. This is a very wanted lens. It, you see now a lot of people have 70 to 200. So why don't you break the rules a bit from 60 to 250? You already made the 24 to 90. So people will buy it. I would buy it because we believe in this company and we love it and we know the quality is there. But once we start give, taking a little bit of, of like uh, random, like uh, they feel sorry for us, uh, all these companies and they start giving us a little bit of like a tap at the back. Oh, here you go. Take some, take some, take some. This is, we will lose it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.